Hey guys, we are out here in the Valley of the Gods. It's absolutely incredible. And we have this entire space to ourselves, so we thought we would give you the full tour of the trailer and the Jeep. Let's do this. Okay, so we'll open this up. These doors kind of stick open, which is one of my favorite things when it's windy. We put these little curtain rods and curtains on, uh, but we both have a window that can open up and I'll show you the fan in a minute, but a breeze comes through at night. It's so nice and it's a lifesaver, especially out here. It's like 95 degrees today, so I can't wait for tonight. Um, let me open up the other side and I'll show you this whole space. Okay, so since this curves inward, we got these huge pillows. I think I got them from Bed Bath & Beyond and we just cover our normal nighttime pillows with them. And then at night, we turn it into a headboard. So we put these behind and we'll watch movies or work on our computer, whatever we have to do, but it's super comfy. These were like the best purchase. Okay, so up here we have two lights that turn on. Um, we charge about once every two weeks, two to three weeks, to have a battery to do this and also our ceiling fan. So this is gonna suck air in through the windows at night. Like I said, it's our lifesaver and I don't know what we would do without that. And then up here I have my plant that can't die. This is a fake plant and I highly recommend. I keep my devotional, my journal right here, diffuser, essential oils. If you're living without essential oils, I don't know why you're making life so hard on yourself. You need to get some. So all my oils, there's more oils and CBD in here. Up here we each have one of these baskets and they are Velcroed so that they can't fly off. I keep warm things, pajamas, a couple of washcloths. Uh, I have a couple of pockets that will put chargers or you can throw your watch or your cell phone in there. This is also Velcro. And we have our headlamps, some vegetable capsules, just in case you need to make anything, some mace, just in case, and a Rubik's cube. <laughs> Okay, and then over on Riley's side, we have extra blankets. I also have some extra blankets down there. We have, I will let him explain this, but this is our little charge pack. He has a journal and an idea book. We actually sketched out a lot of things about our trip in this um, because I put it in a stocking two years ago. So he still has that, a little leather catch-all for whatever um, speaker. And then he also has one of these. We keep wipes when we are camping all the time. They are a lifesaver. You can wipe your feet before you get into bed. Sometimes when I wake up in the morning, I'll wash my face with one. Um, they are like, you need these if you're camping. Normally we use the Young Living ones, but they're so nice that we don't want to use those on our feet or anything like that. So we use those ones. We have headphones, charging cables for this, and work gloves. We throw any of our stuff for the night down here because this is a full-size bed and there's actually a little gap. So we'll throw our books or our laptop here and it stays perfectly. It's awesome. Otherwise it's stored in the Jeep. And that's it. That's the trailer. Okay, so we are short people, but I still think even a tall person could fit just fine in here because this is everyone's number one question is do your feet fit because this thing is so tiny looking but our feet fit really well and like I said I still have like all of this space behind me because of these pillows. We sleep like babies. It's so comfortable and so amazing. So that's the inside. There's a few more things that we want to do. We were thinking of putting elastic cords to hold journals and books and things like that on the back. But we haven't done it yet, and I don't know. That's a project for another day. Let me grab my sunglasses, and I'll take you around to the kitchen. This opens up to probably my favorite part. This is really a game changer and makes it feel less like camping and more like a vacation or, I don't know, like a little adventure. Um, it's so cool that we can take it wherever we want it. So let's break this down. We have a two burner stove and it runs on propane. So we just hook that up down there and we can cook whatever we want. That's where I make my coffee. 
it's really the best. There's this little pocket drawer. Just for randoms, we throw everything in here. Those are really helpful. And then here is kind of like a pantry. I do keep the propane in there. Also some cans, coconut oil, um, stasher bags, and then our pots. So we have this pot and we have a little cast iron pan that we use. This drawer is all of our seasonings. We just got addicted to this one. Putting it on fruit is probably the best thing ever. And then this is all of our silverware, utensils, and then like less used stuff. Then over here we have our cooler. Riley built the slider, which is a back saver. I can't even imagine pulling the cooler out. Um, we did get this used and we've done a lot of DIY stuff. So Riley's going to explain what he did exactly, but this is one of the things. We keep our wash bucket here and it extends down deep so that we can do all of our dishes. Um, we just keep that there when we're traveling. And then our cooler here, we'll slide that back. Up here, I like to keep most of our fruit, snacks for hiking. Um, what else do we have up here? We have a loaf of bread, some tortillas. And these slide out because Riley built them on little kitchen, um, yeah. They kitchen appliance out. sliders for your kitchen. Appliance is the word. And then um, this is something we're really proud of. Do you want to talk about this or should I? You can talk about it. So originally I just wanted to use all the space possible. And we thought about this being really cool and pretty to have mason jars here. So they are on a little magnet strip up there. And we can put anything, coffee, spices, nuts, snacks, and they just stick right back. We have had some really bumpy roads where things are flying out. These are out of their spot, normally they don't, but really bad roads and these have not budged. They have never fallen, so it totally worked and we're really proud of that and think it looks really cool. We have it on both sides, so over here we have like garlic, lentils, nuts, more coffee, always coffee. And I could fill this one with whatever I want. Um, we have our little coffee station here, so our kettle, we have a little pour over situation. I keep our little oven mitts and then our cooking oils. And the reason this stays put is we did Velcro again. So we can stash things back here and those don't break or move out of their spot. Up top we have our cutting boards and then this is like a little piece of pottery Riley's mom gave to me. So we put our rings in that if we are cooking or don't want them to get dirty. Um, a few bowls, a little pot. We have our wine glasses, um, and then a couple extra towels. This is the cutting board that our wedding cake was served on. So I thought it would be special to bring it with us and use it for platters, having coffee in bed. Um, I just think it's cool to have it because it was part of our wedding. And then I did bring some ceramic mugs because they feel more homey than camp mugs. Um, so we use those sometimes. And then we have our plates and bowls. These are bamboo, so we bought them thinking we wouldn't break them and we actually broke two of the bamboo bowls. So pick your poison. They're actually really cool though and we love them. And then these are our camp mugs. Um, Snow Peak, these are the double wall. Um, we got them for each other as a gift. So I think I got Riley one, is it for Christmas? Yeah, I think so. And then you got me one for the next birthday or whatever, so that we could match. Um, but they're amazing. I actually use them more than the ceramics because they keep stuff hot for so long. And they're just the best. They're the best camp cups ever. And then one last spot. We keep most of our veggies over here. Um, this is just a produce bag. We have our honey, some coconut water, and then we keep hand soap right here for anything nasty like in the kitchen or whatever um, that's super nice to have and then obviously just more produce and that's it all right guys uh so i'm going to talk about a little bit more of the technical stuff that we have jenny likes the aesthetic stuff and 
I build all the other stuff that doesn't matter. Um, the batteries are the lights and the fan in the trailer, and we only have to charge those every like two to three weeks, depending on how much we use them. So we only really need to get a more expensive electrical hookup site every, yeah, two or three weeks. The drawers and the cooler slider we built just to make things more simple. Uh, they've helped so much and given us a lot more storage space. Uh, but let's go on to the newest addition, our favorite new thing. So up top here you can see this, that is a solar panel that we just ordered to Flagstaff, Arizona. Cable runs down the side, a little crude looking, but we installed it at a campsite, so uh, don't judge us too much. And then on the inside, uh, Jenny showed you earlier the power pack itself. The system we chose to go with for solar is by a company called Goal Zero, and we ordered it from REI, one of our favorite stores. Um, but we chose it because it's super simple to install. I didn't feel like learning electrical engineering on this road trip, so I wanted something that was as plug and play as possible. So all I had to do was mount the solar on the, on the roof, run the cable to the battery pack on the inside, and then we chose the size battery storage unit that fit in that little spot that we showed you. Uh, we wanted to keep it as small as possible, but give us the most charge and also fit in that area. So the battery system is called the Yeti Goal Zero 200X, and it gives us about three to four laptop charges per charge off the solar. But we actually haven't gotten below 70% on a day yet because the solar charges it so fast. Um, and it'll charge our phones overnight, and also Jenny can run her diffuser overnight off of it too, and we've never even come close to running out of juice on it. So that's pretty awesome. Coming around to the front, we have our spare tire, and we have four gallons of gasoline mounted here just in case we run out of gas on the way. Uh, you can see where we're at right now, it's in the middle of nowhere, so that's something that I would rather just have some peace of mind there and not have to worry about running out of gas. Uh, next we'll move on to the awning. So the awning is by ARB, and uh, we were actually recommended this by our friends Mike and Devin. Um, they've tried out some other versions, but the ARB is the one that holds up the best. Uh, it takes about one minute to set up, and it gives us shade and shelter in the rain or sunlight, and it is insane how much better it makes our camper feel. We absolutely love it. We call um, it the living room. Yeah, this is our living room. All right, time for the Jeep tour. Let's uh, check out the back seats, because this is where the biggest difference is. Front seats we keep pretty clean generally, just because that's where we spend our time driving around and want them to be as comfortable as possible. But let's have a look in the back. All right, we have kind of three main areas back here. We have the messy shoe storage area. We don't really put too much care or effort into that, but this thing, however, our Berkey water filter is so important to us. We can literally get water from anywhere, run it through this, and it is drinkable immediately. Dirty, muddy river water even, which is so awesome. Um, next we have our little kitchenette pantry area. Uh, in the bottom we have our supplements. Uh, we don't have to go through all those, but it's our supplement drawer. We have our little pantry. We have some protein, canned foods, tea, coffee, different things that you might need to eat. And then in the top drawer we have, we call this our junk drawer. Any knickknacks, random things, little camera accessories, uh, we keep in store up there. All right, in the back, this is where we keep all of our extra water, our shower bag, which we just hang from the top of the Jeep. So the shower bag's pretty interesting. Uh, you just fill it with water and leave it clear side up, and the sun will heat it up to like 80 degrees, 90 degrees even, depends on how long you leave it there, but it gives you a hot shower in the middle of the desert, which is super nice. A little box of firewood. Our uh, camp table and chairs that we got from Ikea, we don't have them out right now, but if we usually stay longer than two days at a place, we'll, uh, we'll pull these guys out. This is some extra little stuff. But 20 liters of water that'll last us four or five days out here, uh, plus the extra gallons that we carry. That way we can just kind of extend our time in the desert when we need to. Uh, on this side, we got all of our other miscellaneous stuff. Laundry detergent, dish soap, veggie soak, extra shampoo and body wash, the list goes on. We have our twinkle lights that we can hang from trees if we need to. And 
And then on this side, this is like my side. We got bear maze, hammock, um, extra propanes for the stove, and fire extinguisher, camp shovel, um, some toilet bags, compostable. And then I have some hand tools for in case anything goes wrong. Um, what was it? Day four or five when we were in the Toronto Pinnacles. The awning decided to fall off of the trailer on a super bumpy road, so it was good we had those. We were able to salvage it. What else do we have back here? We have a little uh, cooking grill that we can throw over a campfire and cook our hot dogs and stuff on that. Uh, extension cord for charging the trailer. Just the, the batteries for the trailer itself. Uh, let's move on to the driver's side. Start up here. This is our Thule extra storage. We just keep anything that uh, we don't use very frequently up here. Mostly the $16 Harbor Freight drill I bought to uh, put the solar in. Uh, some extra toilet paper, our backpacking gear, keep our camp toilet up here. All right, and now the driver's side seat. This is our dresser. So this board that it's on is just some plywood from Home Depot, but it's essentially the platform for the pantry on the other side, as well as the dresser on this side to have a foundation. That way it's not bouncing all around. And there's some legs in the front that uh, keep it from tipping forward and back. But it's pretty easy. We just got, whoa, that's Jenny's drawer. Um, yeah. Got my drawer up top here. The latches keep them from flying out when we take corners and stuff like that. But yeah, keep, each of us have to fit all of our clothes in their own drawer, um, which was tough. We have some hats, and then this bag we keep like just some cold weather clothes, some jackets and sweaters and stuff, and our toiletries and bathroom accessories. And that's pretty much it. That's uh, the whole tour of the Jeep and the trailer, how we're living out of it right now. Um, it did take a little while to kind of get used to, but we're enjoying it now. We're loving this view and this lifestyle for sure. Thank you.